If you're hearing about diabetes for the first time, you may be feeling a little overwhelmed about now. Here's how some children felt when they first heard they had diabetes. I was pretty nervous. I mean, like, I wasn't crying or anything because they'd already explained that I wasn't going to die or anything. So I was kind of, I, at first the needles were a little nerve-wracking, but I got used to it pretty soon. And it was, like, um, scary because, like, you just found out and you didn't know what was going on. Diabetes is a disease in which the body does not produce or properly use insulin. Insulin is a hormone made by the pancreas that the body uses to convert the food that you eat into energy needed for daily life. Let's take a closer look at how insulin works. When you eat, your body breaks down food into sugar. Sugar is used as a source of energy by your body. Sugar travels through the bloodstream to reach all the cells in your body. Sensing that you have eaten, your pancreas releases insulin. Insulin takes the sugar from the blood into your body's cells to be used for energy. This energy supports all of your body's functions needed to stay alive. There are two main types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. We see both of these types in children. They are both serious and need careful management. Type 1 diabetes is sometimes called juvenile onset diabetes or insulin-dependent diabetes. You develop type 1 diabetes because the pancreas can no longer make insulin. Insulin must be given by injection. You cannot take it in the form of a pill. That's because the stomach juices would destroy the insulin before the body could use it. Type 1 diabetes is a disease in which the body does not make insulin. Type 1 diabetes accounts for 5 to 10% of all cases of diabetes. It is usually diagnosed in children and young adults and lasts for the person's whole life. People with type 1 diabetes take insulin daily. They also need to keep their blood sugar in a target range by balancing insulin with a meal plan and exercise. Type 2 is the most common type of diabetes found in adults. But since the early 1990s, type 2 has increased dramatically in overweight children. In type 2 diabetes, insulin is still made in normal or increased amounts, but doesn't work very well in helping the body use sugar. Type 2 diabetes accounts for 90 to 95 percent of all cases of diabetes and most often occurs in middle-aged or older adults. People with type 2 diabetes manage their diabetes by using a meal plan, being active, and taking diabetes medicines if needed. Working with their health care team, all people with diabetes can develop a treatment plan that works for them. Most children with type 2 diabetes have a condition called insulin resistance. When people have diabetes, their body does not make any or enough insulin. Without insulin, your body can't use food properly. That is, sugar cannot enter your cells and be used for energy. As a result, sugar builds up in the blood. Often the pancreas makes some insulin, but the body cannot use it well. This is called insulin resistance. If your body cannot use insulin, sugar cannot enter your cells and be used for energy. Again, sugar builds up in your blood. To help the sugar enter the cells, the pancreas tries to make more insulin. For some reason, as if the pancreas gets tired, insulin production eventually slows down. Most people with type 2 diabetes have insulin resistance and defective insulin secretion. That is, their body cannot properly use the insulin it makes. 
and their body does not make enough insulin. You'll be learning more about diabetes from your diabetes team. Cook Children's team includes doctors, nurse practitioners, diabetes educators, nutritionists, child life specialists, social worker, and clinical therapist. There are also books, websites, and videos to help. Over time, you'll become more comfortable taking care of diabetes. When I first started, I was five, so most of the time my mom counted my carbs and she drew up my shots and everything. But now, I think that since I've just had it for a very long time, I think I've just become self-adapted to just doing it normally. It's kind of so much a part of my life now that it's like, I don't really even think about it that much. I just want to say that diabetes is not a handicap that most people think it is. So they think it's, oh, poor you, you're diabetic, but it's really just a lifestyle. It's how you live. People say they can never have diabetes. They can never take shots. Yeah, you really can. It's really not that hard. Don't worry, and it's all going to be fine.